Hello everybody, let us describe the origin and development of cryonic villi which form the embryonic and later the fetal component of the placenta. We already know that it's the syncytiotrophoblast layer that forms this villi that are invading the endometrium. It's a multinucleate tissue with hydrolytic enzymes that are digging into the endometrium. So here you would find endometrial glands. The endometrial stroma with cells laden with lipids and glycogen and also the endometrial blood vessels. Below syncytiotrophoblast we have a single layer of cuboidal cells with clear cytoplasm that is called cytotrophoblast. Below there is this, the extraembryonic mesenchyma, an undifferentiated loose connective tissue that encircles the yolk vesicle and the amniotic vesicle. The yolk vesicle is sending a thing like projection towards the chorion and adheres to the amniotic vesicle. Both are embedded within the extraembryonic mesenchyma. And they are connected by a connecting stalk here. So let's label the, the structures. These are glands, stroma cells, and blood vessels of the endometrium, of the uterine mucosa. Yeah. Now this is the invading syncytiotrophoblast. underlied by the cytotrophoblast I will abbreviate the syncytiotrophoblast as ST from now on and the cytotrophoblast as CT from now on as while the function of the syncytiotrophoblast is to transport gases, nutrients, and waste products, and also to produce the majority of the placenta hormones. The cytotrophoblast serves as a source of re regenerating cells of the trophoblast, regenerating and growing cells of the trophoblast, and the cells are containing some glycogen. We have mentioned the amniotic vesicle that is touching the yolk vesicle. The yolk vesicle is sending a finger like blind ending projection called allantois which is a rudimentary fetal membrane and uh, this is the connecting stalk that connects the vesicles to the wall of the chorion. Both vesicles are embedded within the extraembryonic mesenchyma
abbreviated as EEM from now on. We have actually named all the layers of the Corion that comprises the syncytiotrophoblast on the surface, the cytotrophoblast below, and the extraembryonic mesenchyma in the deeper portions. The extraembryonic mesenchyma has to form blood vessels. And the development of this cryon uh, is based upon these layers where we can distinguish three stages of development of the of the villi. The, in the first stage we got just the trophoblast layers. So that's the syncytial trophoblast on the surface. I'm adding the multiple nuclei here. It's a basophilic layer. And the villi are the villi contain just the cytotrophoblast cells. The cytotrophoblast is proliferating inside the villi. While the extraembryonic mesenchyma is not part of the villi yet. So we got a syncytiotrophoblast, cytotrophoblast, and extraembryonic mesenchyma. This developmental stage, as a transient stage, is called primary chorionic villi. That's followed by another stage where the extraembryonic mesenchyma grows into the villi. Of course, also the villi increase in uh, size and in numbers. So I will change the proportions of the drawing a bit. We can see the cytotrophoblast here. But now the core of each villus contains also the undifferentiated connective tissue of the extraembryonic mesenchyma. This stage is called secondary chorionic villi. Let me add the multiple nuclei of this multinucleate since the trophoblast layer. But that will not be enough to establish any circulation because the extraembryonic mesenchyma is lacking any blood vessels. The last stage contains blood vessels that originate within the extraembryonic mesenchyma through a process called vasculogenesis. So we got the syncytotrophoblast on the surface, then a layer of cytotrophoblast cells, a connective tissue core, but this time including the blood vessels that have differentiated from the very cells of the extraembryonic mesenchyma. So I'm adding now the nuclei of the endothelial cells. So the nuclei to the syncytiotrophoblast with various orientations. The point here is that the extraembryonic mesenchyma has a vasculogenic potential when some of its cells differentiate into vascular endothelium. Now 
the will I include capillaries. Le they will contain the embryonic blood, but at this time, at the beginning, these are extra embryonic blood vessels, which later on will join the embryonic circulation. The vascular roots have not been established yet. This stage is called tertiary cryonic villi. Mm -hmm. 